Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic and today I'm going to be doing some maintenance on my custom built computer. Built it in 2012 with a Core i7-3930K as part of the X79 chipset and it's done me really well. I'm on a 980Ti now, Nvidia 980Ti graphics card and I've changed a couple of things in it. So I'm going to start off with blowing out all the dust and then I'm going to do some cable management around the back, taking out some of the cables that I don't need anymore and basically bundling up the cables around the back and then um, and making it look good uh, or pulling the slack through from around the front so there's more airflow uh, opportunities. And then finally I'm going to be reapplying the thermal paste on the CPU to the CPU cooler which is a H100i um, and I'll do some tests before and afterwards to see uh, what the results are like. So let's get started. All right, so uh, to run these tests today, I'm going to be running uh, Heaven Benchmark 4 and be running the Intel Burn test. And then I've got a whole lot of hardware monitors set up here. So we've got an, an idling temperature on the uh, CPU of between about 43 and 50 degrees Celsius. Um, good one to look at is package here. And then on the other side, we've got the GPU, um, and that's running at about 56 degrees um, on idle. So we'll run this and I'll hit the we'll hit start on the burn test and hit start on the graphics card test. Hopefully OBS can pick this up. And we'll see how they go. All right, so looking at the temperatures, I've got pretty high temperatures. I've got up to 77 degrees um, max, just in the overall uh, temperature. And then on the GPU, we got up to 81 degrees, which is pretty hot. So we'll give my system a clean and see what kind of results we can get. So you may be wondering why I'm using a uh, hairdryer. It's because there's nowhere within about 20 kilometers that sells compressed air and I reckon this will do an okay job. I've got this little plastic attachment, make sure it's plastic and not metal on the end. Um, it's got a little cool button here which I'm going to hold down um, and I'm just going to, it's going to be pretty loud so I won't be able to talk but I'm just going to basically blow off this uh, system. It's pretty dusty. So I don't know if you saw that, but so much dust just came off then. That was actually really quite impressive. I'm going to take off the top and the front parts and blow out the dust of there. And, um, and yeah, so let's do that. case has this problem oh this case has this problem where because of this little one cable um, you can't um, get this whole panel off which is kind of annoying and then this one just kind of pulls off I'm led to believe if I remember correctly there we go Let's see all the dust in that which I'll get cleaning that's just abysmal <laughs> So now I'm going to be doing some cable management, so here's a quick time lapse. Alright, so after a quick first pass with uh, the hairdryer, I thought I would go through with this brush that I have. Basically just brush out all the uh, all the dust that I can see. You'll be able to see it all kind of come off. It's not um, it's not a great situation. So much down here. 
basically use anything. You use like a makeup brush for this. Um, this is a, I know it's designed for computers and things, but you can pretty much use any kind of brush to kind of get into all the uh, places that there's dust. Head around to the front, do the same thing. So that's pretty much it. We'll move around to the front and clean the fan. Do the same around the back. So I forgot to get the top, which I'm getting now. There's a H100i radiator, which is basically just filled with dust. As you can see, it's all coming out here. All around my room. This is great. Um, so I might go take the top outside and the bottom and the front outside and we'll properly blow them out. So uh, of course I've only done this at the end, but um, I'm taking it outside so we don't get that much dust inside. Um, with that said, I pretty much just dusted my whole room. I dustied up my whole room, um, so that's not great. <laughs> And these fans, I just remembered, don't actually screw in because they were too big um, for under here. But too much dust there. Um, I'll try and I'm blow all that and I'll rub it all off. Can't really swivel around away from the computer, which is a bit annoying. These filters are supposed to come out, but um, on the 6, 692 Advanced Video Edition, they are very hard to take out. So that is not something that I do apart from that one time I tried to do it and they're really hard to put back in. So I've done an okay job here. I don't really know how to get that dust out. 
this doesn't come off. So my final step here is to take off the CPU cooler, uh, apply some new thermal paste, we've got some Arctic Cooling MX4 from a while ago and reapply it, basically rub off all the old stuff. Should apply this, change this every six months to a year, I've read online, um, and I haven't done mine for a very long time. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just unscrew these four screws with the LGA 2011 socket. Sorry about the angle, but my tripod does not go any taller. And well, that's pretty much it. That's a bit annoying. Um, yeah, we'll just work around that. So we've got some isopropyl alcohol, it says. Not sure what percentage it is. Hopefully it doesn't have other fragrances and things in it, but you know, it probably does, but yeah, it's gonna have to deal with that. Just put some onto a Q-tip. Just gonna do it away from my computer in case it falls out. And just try and rub it off, basically. Pretty easily cleans the thermal compound off your CPU. That's pretty clean. Now I'll just clean the underside of this. This stupid cable is pulling against it, but we can try and work around that. So according to Luke from Linus Tech Tips, uh, you can pretty much do any kind of method for putting the um, CPU paste back on the CPU cooler. Um, but the method he recommended was just the pea size method, so I'm just gonna do that. Right in the middle. Here we go, I did that. And I will go ahead and push this back down. All right, that's all tightened in, screwed in everything. I'm just gonna turn it on um, here before I plug it back in to all the things, just to make sure it works in case I need to open it again. But that is pretty much everything I'm going to be doing. So I've completely dusted it out, 
um, dusted the front parts, cleaned the front, and reapplied the thermal paste. So let's see what kind of temps we get. So looking at the idle temps here, they're way better than uh, what we had before. Looking at the min temperature here, we're about 10 degrees lower than uh, we were previously. And then even the max temperature that we're just getting idling here is probably 5 degrees lower or 8 degrees lower than uh, what we had uh, before I did all that cleaning. Looking at the GPU, it's also significant. It's also a couple of degrees lower. It's about 4 degrees lower. Um, that's just due to cleaning out the case. So let's start a test and see what our load temperatures are. Alright, so as we can see, the temps are pretty good. Um, they were previously hovering around 78 degrees on max, now they're at 74. Um, but the lowest temperature, 68 degrees there, that's pretty low. And then we look at the graphics card, it's on 78 degrees, it's previously on 81. So we've got a 3 degree decrease just by blowing out the dust in the case and stuff. So as you can see, the results are pretty good. I think the best thing I did was changing the thermal paste of the CPU cooler. I haven't done that for quite a while. Um, and then blowing out all the dust too, that helped with more airflow and circulation um, available within the case. And then finally the cable management, I kind of just want to do that for it to look better. Um, doesn't really affect uh, performance at all. So if you enjoyed this video and you're interested in more videos like on computer performance and computer hardware and stuff, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.